Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and today I'm doing a new setup in my brown Traveller's notebook from Traveller's Company. I'm keeping my decorations so I'm keeping my little Traveller's notebook charm and my Nomado store charm and my little gingerbread man and I have a Kaweco bra sport on here. So I'm keeping all of that but I went away recently a couple of times for days out and this is my everyday carry journal and it didn't have quite what I wanted in it. And it's not until you actually use it on the go that you sort of realize. So I thought I'd do a new setup and I'm keeping the inside the same. So I've got my little tortoise card here. I've just got some sticky notes here because they're well, or it might just be a notepad, but whatever. I've just got a little pad of paper there in case I want to write something down quickly. And then I have my favorite writing board from Traveller's Company, which is the 2020 one. I'm looking forward to the 2023 coffee worm. Now, the first thing to do when you're setting up, obviously, is to decide what, what inserts that you want to have in your notebook. Now, the one insert that I did have with me and I want to continue having with me is my personal journal. And when I say personal journal, this is a throwaway journal. I just put my thoughts, my feelings. Sometimes I might write some notes. I do decorate a little bit with stickers and I find it really useful to have this with me. So I will keep that one and when that one's all gone, it'll be replaced by the same. And it's a lightweight paper insert. Now, an addition that I want to make is this little notebook that I started in one but July. And I was going to do like an illustrated journal. So I did my July page where I drew some fruits with coloured pencils. And then I did this page. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may have seen these. And that was my daughter's birthday page. This page I did when I recently travelled to Bath with my son. So I've drawn a little coach because it was a coach trip we stopped on the way for coffee and had coffee together which was really nice this is a little sort of quick sketch of the baths where the water was very green <laughs> but I just did a little quick sketch there I've got some photographs that I'll be putting in my memory keeping journal this were the hot springs which were orange and they were really hot you could see the steam coming out of the hot spring in Bath I think it's the only hot spring in the UK Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I think so. I had a glass of English sparkling wine sitting by the Roman baths, which was really nice. And it was a beautiful sunny day. So I did that page. Now I thought this clearly would be a good insert to have in my everyday carry journal. Because if I'm out and about and I want to do some little sketching like this to remind me of my day and to maybe occupy myself whilst I'm waiting for a bus or whatever I'm doing, that would be really handy to have in here. Now this is a short trip craft paper insert that was a gift from Mel, thank you Mel. And I've discovered that it's not great with fountain pens, it's really lovely to draw on, not great with fountain pens, so I might need to find a different pen to use in here because it, it seems to catch, it's quite, it's got a bit of texture on this paper. It doesn't look obvious, but it is. So that's the second insert I want here. And finally, I decided that I would like to add one of these super lightweight paper inserts. So this is a new one. I've still got my bookmark though. This is a new one that I'm going to start. Now I did have a super lightweight insert in this journal, which I've just moved into this one for now. And I love it. So that's this one. I do love it. So what I've been using this one for this was a gift from Mel again, thank you Mel. I've been using this one to journal about a deck of tarot cards and I just put, I, I pick a card and I just put the card or a photograph of the card, which I've cut out into my journal and I journal about it and I really love how this is coming out. I love this journal so much. It's just gorgeous and scrunchy and I really love the collaging and I'm ahead of myself here. Look, I've got some that I haven't journaled about yet and I've got some photographs as well waiting to be journaled about. Now I love doing that, but that's not something that I want to do when I'm on the go. So I thought, given how much I enjoy that one, I will put another one in here, but I would use this so that I can collage on the go and write about my experience. So wherever I am, if I'm sat having a cup of coffee, I can collage on one side of the page and write about what I've been doing 
on the other side of the page. So it's an on the go, if you like, memory keeping journal, just to keep me occupied. And the reason that I decided to put this in is because when I was at a spa recently, I was sat having a drink, waiting for my daughter who was having a massage. And I really felt like, oh, I really, really wish I was, I had an insert to write in and collage rather than just writing in my brain dump, which is what I did use. So I've now got three inserts in my journal. I'm really happy with that. Now, the other thing that I'm changing, I did have in this journal, I had the B-Sides and Rarities orange coloured zipper insert, which I really love, but it's getting quite beaten up already because it was in my everyday carry. So I decided to swap it out and put it into my travel journal. This is my travel journal. This is the Traveller's Hotel. I do have a setup of this somewhere. So I've added a zipper wallet to this, which is always handy. And that is my travel journal. If I'm going away for sort of overnight stays or whatever, Whereas this one will just be for when I'm out and about on a sort of more day-to-day -day basis. So I decided that I would put this zipper wallet because this is a leather one. I think it will be more durable. So let's just pop all those in and then the fun part begins. I shall start decorating and filling up my wallet. So I'm just gonna put my elastic band There we go. And then I need to attach it to the front notebook. There we go. And under the middle elastic. And then I'll put this one in the middle. If I can grab the elastic. There we go. And I want to fill her up with all my bits and pieces. Let's just put the bookmark down for now. So let's see, what do I have on my side here? Oh, I have a dashboard which Marie very kindly gifted to me because these are from Chic Sparrow, which are in the US and it's so extortionately expensive to get them to the UK. I worked it out on a piece of paper that, where did I put it? If I had bought these two dashboards from Chic Sparrow myself, the cost to have it sent here and with the taxes and so on would have been $77.59, which obviously who's gonna pay $79 for a plastic wallet? I'm not going to, am I? So I'm so grateful that Marie sent these to me because I think they're really gorgeous and I'm gonna look forward to filling that up. Anyway, let's go back to my bits. So I'm going to do that in a moment. Now I have a few bits that I want to keep on here. I've got this card, which is a Traveller's Notebook, Traveller's Factory postcard, which I really love. So I like to have that in my everyday carry. I have a little envelope, which was a Chinese New Year sticker, if, I, if I'm right. Anybody who can speak Chinese, and knows what that says you can tell or Japanese maybe I don't know which it is it could be Japanese if anybody knows what that says or do you please put it in the comments because I can't remember and that's just a little envelope that's got some stickers and things in it and then I want to fill this up now this has actually got six of these like credit card inserts so let's fill that up in the top one I've got these Traveller's Notebook visit passes that were in an order from Inukshuk, Japan, and I really like to keep those. <laughs> it's things I'm hoarding. Oh, and I've got a little sticker saver, so I pop those in there. And then in the next one, I have some, oh, I've got a sticker. Now, who sent me that? I think it was Mary sent me that. And I've got some business cards of shops that I like. And, ooh, in fact, who's that? That's Anna Turin. I want that somewhere else. In fact, what I want in here, I've just got some cards. And that is a card from LCN Design Studio. So I think that's really pretty. So I'm going to put those in the middle one. And then I've got this sort of, I'm using them like decor, really. And then I have some more that I'm just keeping 
business cards and so on. I've got Note and Wish and Gretel Creates, a pocket palette one. Rosemary & Co, that's where I buy my paint brushes, Superior Labour, I've got a Traveller's Company or Factory ticket and the Mardo store sticker and a Sheet Sparrow sticker. So these are all just like little bits and pieces that I like keeping in here <laughs> for no good reason. And I think I'll also pop on there these little cards that Marie made me. I think I'll have the little dandelion so I've got all my stuff that I'm hoarding here <laughs> and then let's try to make the next one a bit more practical so on the other side I did pull out some of these oops I've got some washi tape and I want to put some more washi tape that's just like plain brown ones I want to put some more washi tape in here so I'll leave that pocket these are just some little Tim Holtz cards and an envelope which might come in handy and then I've got some tickets that Mel sent to me. I want to keep those in there so I don't lose them. I've got these two little sticker wallets. So I'm gonna pop those in the top. Well, I've got another few Tim Holtz cards here. And last but not least, I have some page flags. I think these are Stalogy page flags if they're not I'll write it on the screen but I think they're Stalogy ones and I just use those in my notebook for example here if I want to mark a spot that I'm going to come back to or I want to write it up somewhere else or whatever it's always handy to have page flags okay so I'm getting there I'm getting there aren't I I think the next thing to do is put some bits and pieces in my zipper Wallet. and what I like to keep in here is bits for me to use on the go and I've got a big pile I've pulled out I wonder if this is too much oh and I have this this was sent to me by Pat and I really like that so I'm going to put that somewhere let's pop that I think it was on here anyway and that has a business card from Sam Gway who's one of my favorite tarot artists and so I'm going to put this one from Anna Turian, who's another of my favourite tarot artists in there. And she's put a little note on the back. So I want to keep those in there safe. And then, as I said, I've got this big pile of stuff I want to put in here. So I've got some papers that I've torn off of um, different papers that I've been gifted by Pat. I've got stickers my partner gave me more stickers from a happy mail uh, what else dot stickers and all these were from Mel and so were those and that so little bits that I want to keep and use in this journal that's really lovely isn't it I think that was from mysopaper.co.uk and I love that I'm hoarding that so that can go in here I've got lots of little bits and pieces those were from Mary little birds I remember that's recent that's from Louise those are my Samiko Garashi stickers <laughs> I keep in there oh and these were this was from Suzanne really love that so that's in here so it's all like little bits of samples little bits I've been gifted and then I can really enjoy using them these stickers which were from Marie very recently. I mean, that, that, that one just looks exactly like my older dog, River. Did they hear me say dog? <laughs> I haven't decided where I'm going to use that, so I want to keep that safe in here. And this little envelope from Suzanne, I've just got little bits and pieces in. So all of those are going to go I think that's too much let's see I've probably pulled out too much haven't I it's so hard to choose as well but once it's all gone I just fill it up again with all little bits and pieces from my wonderful stash and no, I don't think that's too much that looks great okay so the last thing to do well there's two more things to do I want to decorate the front of this and I want to do my dashboard for the front of my notebook so let's get going with that oh and i have this that i had in here before which i want to keep in here because i love it <laughs> so i will be keeping that in here so let's start with the dashboard if i put my notebook to one side 
and let's have a little bit of fun with the dashboard. I've already cut out these coffee papers from, these were sent to me by Emily and these ones are lovely. I love the colours, they're so autumnal. And we are just about, sadly, at the end of summer. So we're in that, in, it's, we're in that transition phase between summer and autumn in the UK. So I've pulled those out, I'm going to put those in my dashboard. And I pulled these out as well, which I've had for some time, another Happy Mail gift, I'm so spoiled. And I'm going to use those on my dashboard and then I'm going to have a think what else I might use. So, for the back dashboard, I'm going to be, I think, fairly simple. And I thought I would just take one of these and I'm just going to quickly distress it. Okay. I'm turning over as if there's a correct side, but there isn't, is there? So, let me get my glue stick. I'm going to pop this on the back. And then I thought I would be really simple and use, I've got a sticker in here. I've been hoarding. <laughs> and this is one that Louise sent me. I absolutely love it. And I thought, actually a sticker it's a piece of tape that she sent me I'm going to just take that little bit of writing off and save that and I thought yeah that would fit perfectly here now I do think it needs a little bit more something something so let's see what shall we add to it now I did I've just gone and put all this stuff away let me get it all out again and then I won't have to keep fiddling will I there we go and let's see, what can I add to this to make it a little bit, a little bit more, or do, or do you think just like that on its own? Eh, decisions, decisions. What I was thinking was whether or not one of my frames, for example, this one might look good. Do you know what? I never use the outside bit, which is silly. I can do it without breaking it. There we go. So you could use that piece as well, couldn't you? Because that makes like a frame. I'm going to go for one of the inner frames. Now I've got to decide how I want to do it. And that would look nice, wouldn't it? Just adds a little bit of something. And then I'm going to take this. Ooh, just had a thought. I do occasionally have a thought. <laughs> and I'm going to put that one down here. Oh, and I think that, that will look quite nice, won't it? And I could put a sticker on here. So I have these wonderful stickers that Marie sent me, which are a Tim Holtz pad of stickers. So I can put something nice on there. So what shall I put? Um, choose joy does coffee give me joy it certainly does I might have that one I'm going to have that one because coffee does give me joy and there's so many times in life where you can choose how you feel about things you can take joy in something as simple as drinking a cup of coffee if you relish it <laughs> and I really like how that looks so I'm going to stick all that down now so got this first these are always hard to stick this is just so much fun just sitting with all my little bits and pieces and sticking them until I like how they look like so and then I want to use my new dot stickers that I love so much so these are from LCN Designs or LCN Design Studio her name is Lin Chia Ning and I've got all these different colors of dots and I think definitely I want the brown ones again 
Now where shall I put them and how many shall I have? I'm going to put them there. So let's take one of these. And these are ribbons, if you haven't seen them before. So you have to just peel off the backing, pop them where you want them. I think I want them that way. Then you rip them. I'm using the end of a ruler. You can buy a special stick. I don't have the special stick. But the ruler works just fine, <laughs> so that's okay. And I'm just wondering if I want any washi tape just to finish it off here. So, maybe a little bit of that one. Those colours look really nice together. And a little bit down here. I don't want to go over the flowers. There we go. I'm not really pleased with how that looks. So, lovely coffee themed dashboard. And so then all I need to do is slip it in. Like so. I thought in here I would keep this little folder which has got a lot more little bits from, oh, I want to use that. A lot more little bits from Louise in and I love this folder so I want it in my dashboard so I can see it I've got lots of folders I love I do swap things around there and then if I want something from it one of the things I really love about these sheets Barrow dashboards is this thumb hole so you can use them to keep things in as well as using them as decor which I think is really cool and I like how that looks on there and so this side which is going to be the front of my dashboard. I need to decorate that first. So let me think. Oh, I got this out and I thought that would look really nice on here with this sticker. And I'm going to see if I can grab a few more bits. I had some lovely papers from Pat. Let me find the one. I'm sure there was like a lovely, yes, there's this lovely peachy coloured one. It's got a little bit of pink in it, look. I've already used a bit of it, but I really like that one and I think the colours look really nice. And then I have this lovely one with butterflies on, which I think was from Marie. Butterflies and dragonflies. Do I want a big butterfly or just a little butterfly? Maybe just a little one today. Let's rip a piece of that off. rip a piece of this I don't want that straight edge so I'm gonna just rip that off so I'm trying to just get a few different elements together and then I'll decide how if at all they look nice together I wanted to use one of these now these are the Tim Hoz ideology stitch scraps which were a gift again from Marie and whoops I want to lose any so I thought I could use these on here maybe oh I like that with the little kisses <laughs> little cross stitches I mean if you can sew even if you can't, because it's done really roughly with a sewing machine, I think. So cool. So I want to put the piece of orange paper and do, 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 do. I'm thinking I might have something in here I'm using this little envelope because I love the sticker on it. <laughs> that was from Suzanne. Ooh. Well, they go, don't they? <laughs>
using that but I want something in the middle there and I'm wondering actually I have these beautiful stickers could I put a cup of coffee in the middle of that I wonder if that would work I'm going to try it that lovely cappuccino That looks so cool. <laughs> oh, I really like that. And let's just go up a little bit with this. And I think once I put some washi tape to tie it together a little bit, that will look nice. What do you think? Well, maybe not her. Maybe my determination to use her. Maybe I'll save her. Let's think. If I save her and I put some washi tape and they may, then maybe another one of these beautiful stickers and then it will be on my dashboard and saved. I think I'm going to do that. Even though I really love her, I don't think she's really going and showing off to her best advantage. So I'm going to put her back somewhere safe in a second. I don't want to lose her. Whatever happens, I don't want to lose her. Right, so I want some washi tapes that are gonna look nice with this. And that one that I've already used looks nice. And I've got these, oh, look at that gorgeous color. I've got that one and that one. They all look nice with it. Right, let's think, how will we do it? I think I'm gonna go with sticking, <laughs> scary, scary, sticking this on first. Or oh, should I have distressed it? Too late. I've glued it. Some of this lovely paper. And I'm wondering whether to use a little bit of a paler paper. About a bit of, oops, getting in a pickle. About a little bit of this one. Oh, tear in two. Oh, this one. I really like this one. I'm really hoping you can't hear my washing machine, but I can, so I suspect you can. But what can I do? Have to do laundry. Right, I'm putting that one there. Okay, and then I want to put some washi. Which one shall I use first? Let's use that patterned one. There we go that one and that's an obvious choice isn't it because the colors are just absolutely perfect <laughs> there we go I wonder if I should have put that changing my mind I'm always changing my mind will it come off though yeah I want to put it higher up. <laughs> there we go. And then I can put that where it kind of crosses. Oh, then you only see that little tiny bit. <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, and then I wanted this one, didn't I? Oh, and then I was thinking I might put another sticker a little bit more washy. I really love the colour of this one. It's like oh gingerbread. I'm gonna go with ripping it that way. And then, just to finish off, do I want another sticker? And if I do, where would it? Oh, I quite like that there. The cafetiere. <gasps> don't know what to choose. I don't know what to choose. And then there's those lovely coffee bags. Well, I'm going to put the coffee bags down here. And 
I think the cafetiere, where did it go? I think the cafetiere here will be perfect. Or the coffee cup. No, the cafetiere. Let's go for the cafetiere. That was my first thought. There we go. Oh, it's falling over. And of course it's too late. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's too late. It'll just have to be wonky. At least I know I did it. Right. And I'm just wondering if I want a saying on here from this book. Oh, this, this came for me today. Thank you, Mel. Lovely postcard from Portland, Oregon. And it is raining. We're going into rainy season. It's actually pouring with rain outside my house right now. So that is very apt. And thank you so much. I love it. And it's going with my postcards on my wall. And back to this. <laughs> After that, um, shall we go for a black one? Because there's a little bit of black on there, isn't there? And it might just look nice. So what should we have at the beginning of my everyday carry journal? I could have enjoy today. Remember the now. There we go. Enjoy today. Cool. Right. Let's pop this one in. And I think this video is really long. So once again, I am not going to be decorating the cover of my insert. So, oh, I really love that. Does anybody else like that? I think it's really lovely. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when I say that because of course I did it and I chose everything. Although lots of the things were gifts. So that is going in my notebook. Here. And I love how it looks. Right, and I did want to save those lovely stickers somewhere safe. So I'm going to just pop those for now until I decide where I'm going to use them. I've got my dog and my coffee tarot card. And I love the colour of that. It's beautiful muted sort of green. So I want to find somewhere really special to put those. And while I'm waiting, they can sit in there and I can easily get them out if I want them. I've got glue on the front. So there's my dashboard with my first insert. Oh, I need to decorate both of these, but I think I'll do a part two where I just decorate those two. And then I've put my little folder in this dashboard. I've decorated that dashboard. Love how it looks with this leather folder. I filled that up. I need to fill my zipper wallet back up. Now, where did I put everything? Here's most of it, apart from maybe a few bits that I've used. Oh, I wanted to use a little bit of this. I forgot. I will I, I will use that. Because look, that would have gone really well, wouldn't it? And with the fabrics. But I'll use that on my covers because I've got two covers here to decorate. Look, I've got the back of this one and I've got the front of this one. I don't need to decorate the back because it's got a pocket on it, although I could put something here. So let me stick all my bits and pieces back in. And I will do a part two and I'll just call it decorating inserts or something because I've got two inserts left to decorate. And I am really happy with my new setup in my traveler's notebook. From Traveller's Company. It's going to be a joy to use when I'm out and about where I have a place for brain dumping, a place for doodling and a place for collage and writing about what I'm doing. I think that's going to be perfect. Love it. Thank you so much all of you for watching. Thank you everybody who has gifted me all the wonderful little pieces of ephemera and papers and so on that I use in my journals. I am so grateful and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!